have a two-year-old grandson. And like any stubborn two-year-old, he doesn't want to do things that we ask him to do all the time. And when we do ask him to do something, he'll go, never, 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 never. And that never, never, never can be related to our own lives. Never, never, never giving up. In fact, there's a section in my book on perseverance, and I named it Never, Never Give Up because of what my grandson said. And in that section, I talk about being sideswiped by a bus. I'm a cancer survivor, and when I found out that I had cancer, I really do feel like a big, old, stinky bus came rolling down the road and hit me and spun me around. Today, I'm a survivor. But that time during having cancer, that day to day to day, was something that was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And like any very, very business entrepreneurial businesswoman, when I found out that I had the cancer, and by the way, it was head and neck cancer, I had a lump on my throat or on my neck that was removed, it was coming from my tonsils, uh, squamous cell carcinoma stage two, I didn't really want to believe it. And I said, they, they said, you're going to have to do surgery, you're going to have treatments. So I thought, well, I'll just work my treatments into my day. At 7 a.m., I will be at the hospital every day doing my treatments, and then I'll go on and run my business. I'll go to my office, I'll do the rest of my day. I'll just factor this in. After about two weeks, I was too sick to get out of bed. Uh, it was a time when I realized the importance of staying positive, of, of saying affirmations, and certainly the importance of family and the people who love you that are around you. And you know, we, I went through the treatments. This was eight years ago. I'm here. It was certainly a change in my life. And there is hope for so many people who do have cancer. And I remember the day, I remember the day when I knew that I was better. And I had been sick all winter, listening, listening to people going ahead and having their lives. And one morning, I heard the birds outside my window. I heard the birds, and then I heard the traffic. I heard people getting up in their cars, driving to work. Now, they may not have been happy. They may have had a whole lot of other problems, but these people were up, and they were going to work, and I was to be one of them again. And when I got my health back, and when I was able to talk with people about the experience that I've been through, the biggest lesson that I can share with anyone is never, never, just like my grandson, never, never give up.